Hi everyone, welcome to Atlantic Fleet. Here we are with the Royal Navy, doing our best to hold on <laughs> in March 1941. Uh, so we spread out the fleet quite considerably. Um, we've got one destroyer covering vast swathes of the ocean. Uh, we've got the task group down here with the two light cruisers and two destroyers who were seeking out a warship that was um, sinking tonnage in the Caribbean. We've patrolled around there, haven't seen them, so we're going to continue around, head towards Dakar, see if we can intercept anything on the way through. Um, up here near um, Iceland, we've got the battleship Nelson, uh, her supporting vessels are the heavy cruiser Berwick, the light cruiser Ajax, and the destroyer Impulsive. Um, they're kind of just holding station there. On home waters, we've got the Ilex destroyer. Uh, but in port, we have the aircraft carrier Furious and the destroyer Vivian. Good. She's got support of the uh, home fleet, uh, the um, air patrols as well, so she's not on her own there. Uh, down here, we've got Imperial patrolling the Mediterranean. Uh, is anyone in port there? No, no one in port there. Uh, so that's okay. And we've got these ships just doing their darndest to uh, hunt down some U boats. Yes, no, no shipping reported in the Bay of Biscay, so we'll probably give that. We won't cover that. We'll leave it as it is. Um, well, who do we have up here? We have the the Dainty, which has received light damage, and the Jaguar. Now, what I might do is swap the Dainty with the Ilex, um, and then oh, do we want to put her into port just yet? No, we'll wait. We'll wait um, until next turn. Then hopefully we can swap the destroyers around. Because uh, I don't want to leave home waters undefended. So let's skip on to week one of March 1941 and see what happens. So straight away, up here in the West Ice, U-193 has intercepted the destroyer Ivanhoe. Torpedoes away. Doosh, doosh, doosh. Okay, it's one on one, which should be okay. And uh, let's have a look. Right, so where is she? Contact bearing 38. There she is. Right, so torpedoes coming that way. Um, okay. We slow to two thirds and turn sharply into it. Ooh, okay. Uh, that was probably. That turns a lot sharper than I was expecting. Some there's different variations between these uh these um these ships turning circles. Right. Um we should be okay though. We should be okay. We won't return fire just yet. Uh how far are we from the contact? Five thousand two hundred meters, okay. Uh, and we do have torpedoes. Yeah. Good. Just not at that angle, so that's fine. We're not gonna fire yet anyway. Um we won't have an act, uh, a combat action this time. Now they should sail by us, hopefully. Yep. Okay, no action this time. We'll continue on forward. Let's um, speed up a bit. Past those tail of the torpedo wake. And there she is there, 4,600 meters. We won't do an action. Right, she should have probably one torpedo loaded next time. So. Um, we'll turn side on 3,600 meters. Let's have a look at her, shall we? Which way is she facing? Oh, she's facing uh, not quite dead on to us. Right, okay. So we will loose a torpedo about there. And I'm going to lose one about there. Torpedo, yep, there you go. She fires, as expected. Here come R2. Got her. Nice. There she is. Sinking. Happy days. Nice hit on the bow there. 
Good. So, first blood to us, the Ivanhoe comes out on tops, and you 193 sinks for 1,032 tons. Nice. Meanwhile, the Gloucester, Sheffield, Antelope, and the Kelly have been attacked by a small um, wolf pack of U182, 183, and U224. Oh, which will they go for? The Gloucester or the Sheffield? We'll find out. No torpedoes fired. No torpedoes fired. No torpedoes fired. Oh, that was interesting. Um, so we know we've got to destroy uh, one of the subs behind us. Are they behind us? Let's have a look. Yes. Don't see them. Right. Um, we'll just start moving in a zigzaggy pattern. Just to... Uh, Do our best right I guess we can um, scan the horizon for any periscopes there's one there bearing two seven well two six something bring the guns around right the winds slightly nuts we'll go like that we'll go high explosive shells what do we reckon the ranges Yeah, don't even see him on that. Uh, so we start around 10. And we'll work forward or back from there. So, hang on, where's... It was here, wasn't it? There, okay, there, there. It's right there, so... Hmm. Difficult to tell, wasn't it? Difficult to tell, right. Uh, we'll turn the Sheffield as well. And we'll also uh, swing the guns out that way. Somewhere over here, wasn't it? There. Uh, have we come into about nine? Right, we're here with the ant uh, antelope. Where's this one? It's detected. Right there. Right. You can spin around. And that contact is 5,900 meters away. Okay, so we won't. We don't have any aircraft. But we won't engage just yet. Uh, and now we have this one. Do they detect any others or just that one? Just that one, it would seem. We know there's one out there. But I've got a funny feeling there's a. U-boat waiting out here somewhere. Turn that way anyway, and we won't fire this time. No action. There is one over here. I was right. Right. Um, yeah, still not picking up exactly where that contact is, so it's difficult to... Uh, Confirm how we were doing. Right, we'll just continue to move forward on this turn. Switch the. Uh... There he is. There. Swing the guns around. Uh, and what we'll do, we'll bring it down to nine five. That's long. Okay. Same with the Sheffield. Just for the wind slightly, and we're going to bring that down to eight eight five. Back. That seems short, I think. There's that one. Um, you continue to turn on a nice loop around here. Five thousand four hundred meters. That's fine. Now there should be someone dead ahead. Keep going forward. Don't see him though. Where are you, my friend? Oh, 
I can't see him. Maybe he's more... Maybe he's further away than I expected, actually. I could have missed him. It's very difficult to spot a... Ah! Nine zero. Oh no, it's that one. I know about that one. Hmm. Oh, there's two over there. Right. Gotcha. Right, okay. Where is he? There. Swing the gun. Whoop, swing the guns. About, about yay. Um, Alright, we'll come down to 8.8. .8. Long. Okay. Where are the guns at? Oh, there they are. Right. So we were 8.5, and I think that was short, wasn't it? So we go 8.8. .8. That's long. Okay. Concerned that they haven't fired any torpedoes yet, so we're going to be gingerly coming in towards them. That's 5,000. Uh, no, I won't go yet. Gonna turn you sharply to come and have a look at that one as well. Okay. No action from U eighty two. No action from U eighty three. No action from U two two four. Have they run out of torpedoes? Why would they engage if they'd run out of torpedoes? That makes no sense. Unless they're just holding out for um, a closer shot. I don't know. Anyway, gives us a bit of gunnery practice, which is always good fun. He's right here, but it might be easier just to uh, to see it at the edge of the um, the thing. Right, uh, let's bring that back to eight two then. Got him. You won eight two, sunk. Nice. And do we see the periscope sink? No, I think we've been firing at a different U boat, have we? Nice. Okay. Well, that's brilliant, then. We've been f taking fire on two shots. Oh, nice. So pleased. Just to... It's so pleasing to get them, isn't it, eh? Right, where's that other one gone, then? There. So we'll do the same trick again. We'll leave the periscope there. We'll pop that there. Now, we were short last time? Or were we long? Long, slightly. So let's drop that down to 8-3. Okay. We'll start to try and close this range a bit. 4,200 meters. Okay, cool, cool. This destroyer can come and support. Okay, U183, I think it was leaving, so we obviously got some near shots to her, but nothing too bad. The Gloucester obviously takes the kill. And the other 180. Whatever it was, uh, U boat 182. Lovely, right. Uh, let's uh, continue on our way. Now, 4,100 meters. I'll continue to close in a little bit. 3,600, good. We'll have a shot next time. You move as a supporting role. No action from U224. Okay, we'll need the, the cruisers on. Get them out of trouble. Alright, here we go. Keep moving. There she is. 2,900 metres. Let's have a look at her. Which, which way on is she? 
she is. Oh, we're almost beautifully um, broadside, which is nice. Let's switch to torpedoes then. And let's stick one boat there. Fire. Alright, move you up. Whee! U-224 sunk with a torpedo tube to the yard. Nice! Look at that! What an engagement! I'm pleased with that one. So, the, the Little Wolf Pack didn't do so well. U-182 was destroyed by the guns of the Gloucester. Uh, U-224 was sunk by the Kelly's torpedo, I think it was, rather than the Antelope. Antelope or the Kelly's torpedo, and U-183 uh, left the combat area after receiving light damage from the Sheffield's guns. Happy days. So, we got 1,832 tons earned with the sinking of U-182 and uh, U-224. Good days. Norwegian Sea. Allied bombers attack naval bases at Bergen, Trondheim, Narvik, causing light damage. Current repairs delayed by two turns. If the Tirpitz is there, she's not coming out soon. Right. Happy days. So, we're going to stick the Dainty in for some light repairs. Yes. Be two turns, uh, and in fact, I'm actually going to bring the Ilex back. The Gloucester Sheffield and they'll move over to Dakar. I'll move Nism over here, that's where the ships are, and I might move uh, Fraser up to the uh, North American coast. Cool, right. There we go. That's probably as much as I can do. Um, yeah, we've got the Nelson and the Berwick sitting here just in case they need to strike. Because obviously, I'm thinking if the Tirpitz comes out or any other heavy battleship or pocket battleship or heavy cruiser or anything like that that they send towards us, we're in a good position to strike up here, strike down there. Well, relatively. It's not a bad position, obviously, if they try and do the Denmark straight to get out, we can intercept type thing. That's the theory. Whether or not it works, who knows. Ah! Us redeploying the Duncan up here has meant that she has been intercepted, or they've run, a gra or run across U-183, who's re who received light damage previously from the Sheffield. Um, whether or not she wants to attack... No, she's diving. She's just... Uh, oh, God. It's one of those unfortunate encounters where you come up, have to get some circulation of air and all of a sudden there's a bloody destroyer there. I know that feeling. I know that feeling. Right. Sonar contact bearing 228.1 shallow. Ah, there she is there. That's, that's, you can quite see her then. Let's spin this round there and see if we can get a depth charge on her. We're not going to fire from this range. Oh, we've got an airstrike. Okay, we will have an airstrike. We've got an airstrike out here. Crikey. Brilliant. Off the American coast. This is brilliant. What's well, this going to be? Well, it have to be a, a Sunderland at this range, wouldn't it? Let's try and get that, the angle, to be a little bit. Launch. Here we go. Bombs away. Got her! <laughs> Brilliant! I thought, uh oh, it's gonna detonate shallow. But no, U183, damaged by the Sheffield, finished off by the Sunland. Nice. Oh, she's good. Look at that. The stern's going down. Ooh. That's a horrible feeling. Poor boys. Right. 
right. Well, there we go. The Duncan comes out tops, thanks to the Sunderland. Sinking U183 for 1,032. Nice. Meanwhile, hold your celebrations. U186 and U49 have uh, come in at the Cape, around the Cape Verde Isles to attack not only the, um, the Gloucester, the Sheffield and the Antelope and Kelly, but also two troop transports which they are escorting at the moment. So we've got U49, one of the old guard. We haven't, I think we had U42 last time, didn't we? But uh, very few subs in the, um, the two-digit numbers now. Right, let's go. No action. Torpedoes from U49. She's the old girl. She knows what she's doing. Uh, it's pitch black. Can't see a bloody thing. I think she's going for the troop transports. Right, situation awareness. We've got one... Oh, we've got one either side. Are we at the rear here? Yeah, we are. So, um, where is the Sheffields there? Okay, we'll attack this one. The Gloucester and the Sheffield can attack that one. Now, where the hell are those torpedoes coming from? Alright, let's slow down and turn to port. So I think that they may have fired from this U-boat up here. So if we target that one there, submerge contact. Um, we'll do the same thing we did last time. Let's switch to high explosive shells. Uh, if we start at about start at 9.2, there we go. Uh, the wind is quite strong coming towards us, so just the rear turrets. Okay, long, we're much too long. Right, here we are with the Sheffield. We'll turn to port on this one. Target the U-boat over here somewhere. Yeah, barely see it. Um, so I'm gonna actually going to start at about 13. The wind's coming in from the side, left to right. I can't move the gun. Why can't I move the guns? Oh, there we go. So she's right here. Oh, the wind's stronger than we think. Right, you can. Uh, I don't see any torpedoes. You can come charging in. Now, do we have any air support? It's night time, so I wouldn't have thought so now. Okay. Uh, and you. The torpedoes are coming in that way. So we'll, we'll turn to port to be safe, I think. Otherwise, I've miscalculated that. I suppose we could put a star shell up. These are always good fun, aren't they? The hilarity where I fire these is always good fun. Yeah, <laughs> see, that didn't light up anything. Right. Wow, troop ship here. Thousands of bodies on board, probably. Let's turn hard. Oh, there they come. Uh, we're not going to outrun them, so actually, you turn to port. Let's see if we can get. Oh, that wasn't a very good turn. Torpedoes in the water. No action from 186, no action from U49, right. We were long last time. Quite a bit long. So if we drop that down to say 7, no, probably 8. Uh, and the wind is coming in a bit, so uh, it's right there, in case you can't see. It is a bit dark. Ooh, that's just long, I think. Right, uh, Sheffield. You target her. Last time you were well long. 13 was well long. Okay, uh, where are you? There. The wind was very strong as well, so if we put the 
aiming about there. And we'll bring that down to about nine. Let's see where that lands us. Oh, that seems on the money. Oh, that was just long. Yes, look at that. Let's turn towards her. Put another star shell up. Right, yeah, you're okay. So you just can move forward. It's the next troop ship we've got to worry about. Uh, so if she turns. Hopefully that should be enough. We'll find out now. Yes. Good dodge. Good dodge. U186. Oh, they both left the combat. Okay. Ah! We did get close enough to damage them. Um, they both left combat. Our troop ship survived. U186 and U49 both received light damage and uh, put their tail between their legs, legs and ran. Right. United Kingdom. Axis bombers have now attacked our naval base at Liverpool, Portsmouth, causing light damage. Current repairs delayed by two turns. Okay, so that means my ships that were there, who were due out, I've now got another two turns added to it. Brilliant, thanks. Thanks ever so much. Appreciate that. Right, we're going to leave those down there, just in case um, that those U-boats want a bit more action. They seem to be doing quite well, uh, those light cruisers, so that's all good. Um, yeah, we're just kind of holding at the moment, aren't we? Just kind of holding. Let's just skip on. Wowza. Um, the, Na uh, the Nepal and the Nesta have been intercepted by U197, U199, and U212. Wow. It's um, in the East Greenland Sea. It's night time. Wonderful. No action. No action. No action. Oh, that's a good start. They've wasted their element of surprise. So we've got one chasing us, I think, by the looks of this. Not showing up there, but yeah, one chasing us, and we've got two off to the side here. Okay. Oh, there's one there. There's another one there. Okay. So if I select that contact, closest contact, which is 8,100 meters, okay. That's why they're not firing. Do we have any aircraft this time of night? No. Uh, Stick star shell, star shell up. Um, we've got one behind us there. Now, what do we do? Do we attack these two and then come back for that one? Yeah, I think so. How far away is that one, by the way? Just a moment, just 6,800 meters. No. Not really worth it. No action. No action. No action. Stalemate so far. Okay, let's start to close on, in on her then. She'll probably launch a full salvo any second. Thing we do have to be aware of. Pretty much splitting those two, aren't we? Torpedoes away from U197. No action from 199, no action from 212. Right, so torpedoes incoming. Yeah, that should get us out of dodge. And in fact, I'm actually going to turn tight and go for this one over here. Because it's the one we keep picking up. Alright, torpedoes in the water. Hopefully I've done enough. Oh, hasn't quite reached us. No action. No action. 
And no action, good. Right, yeah, okay, we can just sail straight and we should be fine. We'll do a little bit of our port turn, though. Torpedoes dodge. She's 4,889 metres away. Uh, next time we'll have to turn and present and fire, I think. Right, we're coming up to this U-boat now. She'll soon start to lose some torpedoes towards us. 5,500 metres away. Okay, those torpedoes have missed. No action from the U-boats. Good. So if we turn to port, hopefully about 3,000, oh, 4,100 meters. It's not the best range, is it? And she's probably facing pretty much, yeah. Uh, okay. I don't even know if the torpedo is going to stretch that far, is it? Oh, yes, it will. So, I reckon we'll lose one about there. It's not the greatest of shots, I'll be honest. Pop one there. That's a safety. Where's the other one? somewhere. Right, so we're 5,200 on this one. We're going to continue to move forward. 4,600. We'll move next time to fire. That's the enemy torpedoes in the water. Their movement speed. U-197 has launched torpedoes. Or a torpedo. No action. No action. How's my torpedoes doing? Here they come. Oh, they, look, they both look good. They do. U-197 sunk. Okay. Good. Uh, now, this one, does this have a torpedo coming towards it? Yes, it does. We'll turn inside that torpedo. And then we'll turn our attentions to this U-boat here. That U-boat is 5,250 metres away. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to fire from this range. We'll try and close in a bit. Right, meanwhile, Nesta. We'll spin. Now, let's have a look at this U boat. She is. Ah, it's going to be a tricky shot. She's got a low profile to us, so. Um, I'll fire one, sh one straight down the. Uh, and I'll just fire one about there. The problem with the low profile, they can turn. I mean, the slightest turn will mean that we uh, we miss. There's her torpedo missing our, uh, our hull of the destroyer, which is nice. No action from 199. No action from 212. Here come our torpedoes. Yes, okay. So that, that one that was aimed straight at her did miss. U9... Sorry, 199 sunk. So, then there was one. 4,800 metres, okay. Uh, where are you? You're over there, right. We'll come and um, support you. No action from 212. Right, what are we? 4,800 metres. Might close in a little bit more on her. 4,500. We'll wait till next go. There's no rush. There's no rush. No action from 212. Interesting. Alright, let's have a look. We may have a shot from 3,400. 4,300 even. Um, okay. Get a bearing for where she is. So we're going to fire one probably about there. Fire. Close in on this one.
She's fairly moving. Not enough though. U212 sunk. Wow. <laughs> Today's a good day for our anti submarine guys. The Nepal and the Nesta do a sterling job. Sinking U197 for 1,032, U199 for 1,032, and U212 for 800. For a total of 2,864. Well done, boys. That was great. Oh, meanwhile, Z11, Bernard von Arnim. As, uh, around the Faroe Islands, has decided to attack the Jaguar. Now, their destroyers tend to be absolutely... Devils. No action. Well, there she is over there. Uh, do I run away and um, let's have a look? What she? What she got? What's she packing? She's packing five five-inch guns, and she's got thirty-six knot speed. Okay, the little Jaguar. She's packing six four point seven-inch guns and thirty-six knot speed. Okay, speed. Right, but we're a little bit lighter than she is. Um. Right. Right. Um, let's present a small profile for her shooting. There we go. Do we have any aircraft? No. We're close to home waters, but it's night time, so we don't get any aircraft. Wonderful. Right. Um, what do we reckon then? What's the guesstimation? Guesstimation is elevation of 22. go with that. Uh, the wind is is what it is. Oh, that's quite close for an opening salvo. They'll know we're here now. Oh, here we go. Oh my god, all their guns open up. Eek. Turn slowly. Try and present the smallest profile we can. Obviously, that does limit us with the number of guns we can use. Um, they went 19.8. Okay, let's drop that down to 19, 197. There we go. Um, oh. Yikes. We'll do a speed change as well, see if that throws them off. Um, 16.6. That seems a little bit too short. I'm going to go... 17.4, somewhere around there. Yeah, 17.4 seems about... First hits to us. No damage, no fluffs given. God. It's terrifying, isn't it? Right, let's turn to port. Present a low profile as possible. All the while steaming in. 17.6. Uh, Boop. 17.4 was bang on the money. Uh, we've closed in a little bit more. So I reckon... Oh, wrong way. Uh, I reckon 16.9. Oh, that's long. Needs to reduce it even more. Oh. Should I be worried that she didn't do anything? Is that no profile? 14.3. Uh, 14.4. Five. Good hits. She's a blazing. Is she making smoke? Yes, yeah, she's making smoke. Right. Flank speed ahead. Let's close in on her. Happy days. What damage does she have? Triple A, four torpedo, and the pumps. Ooh, badly damaged. Good. So we can get some flooding going. We can get us sunk. Um, now, we've closed in, so let's drop that down to about 12.6. Yeah. Maybe a bit more. 12.4. Oh, good hits. Good hits. 
Keep closing in on her. Don't let up now. Keep the pressure on, Jaguar. Keep the pressure on. Right. Closing on. She's probably slowing down. Let's go to 10-5. Fire. Oh. We overdid it. We overdid it. Her engines are still pretty good, apparently. Right. No worries. No worries. Close in. Close in. Okay, we don't notch it up. Let's go up to about 10 8. Ooh, there or thereabouts. Now we'll be closing in on her all the time, so 10 8 is probably going to be a good, roughly about right for this shot now. We'll fire again at 10 8. Yes. Uh, we'll reduce that down to 10. Boom! We got her! We got her! My goodness, that is the first time we've had such a positive outcome with a naval enge uh, surface engagement with destroyer to destroyer with the German Navy. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. The Jaguar has sunk the destroyer Z11 Bernard von Arnim. 2,260 tons. She was on, yeah, nice. Ah, meanwhile, something that could just ruin our afternoon is U195 in the United Kingdom waters attacking the uh, Ilex destroyer. Torpedoes. Full spread. She's valiantly patrolling home waters, right? Um, let's hard to starboard turn away from that. Now, hopefully, we've got uh, aircraft because we're in home waters. One aircraft. Okay, we better use it sparingly. All right. Whew, here we go. Bombs away. Got her. Got her. Terrible camera work, but U195 sunk. Nice. Quick engagement there. Ilex survives. The Sunderlands do their job. U195 sunk for 1,032 tons. Happy days. Whew. Whew. That's been a good day. That has been a good day. Um... Yeah, we'll leave it there for this week. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. After the past few weeks of being really under the heel of the German Kriegsmarine, it's really nice to have a day when it feels like we've been on top. We've been on top today. We sunk a destroyer. We sunk numerous U-boats. And I don't think we've taken any damage. Did we take any damage? I don't think we did. I'm trying to rack my brains. No, I don't think we did. I think that has been almost an exemplary lesson this week. Um, yeah, okay, mostly due to luck, I should probably. But probably, you know, uh, that was... Anyway, whatever the reasons, we've had a good day. And uh, we can just uh, enjoy that for the moment. Obviously, next week is another another thing entirely, which um, could go horribly wrong. But we'll leave it there. We'll leave it on a positive. We've had a good day. We sunk a destroyer, sunk numerous U-boats, and our ships seem to be relatively okay. We'll leave it there. Thank you ever so much. Take care. If you've enjoyed this, as always, kick that YouTube algorithm up the bum and uh, hit that like button. Share on social media if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button. Tickle the bell to make sure you don't miss out of any new videos coming your way. Thanks ever so much. Take care, and I'll see you next week.